rise to see the black. Now I'm going to credit this title, Super Black, because a friend of mine in the Digisphere, Lewis, talked about this when he was commenting on one of my posts last week. So the Super Black is the person who seemingly defies the stereotype. They are the person who have risen to the heights of success, either because they're on, they sit on a board of some enormous PLC or FTSE 100 company, or their sporting prowess, or they're a big wig in the entertainment business. Whatever it is, they have defied convention and have made it. Now, in the more normal sense, right, when we talk about from an organisational perspective, the super black is the good, productive, um, ambitious, very capable black person who other white people use as a barometer to say, look how good that person is. So if they're good, like maybe we've missed something. Do you know what I mean? And we're missing out more black people who are that good because this person, the super black, is like amazing. Like we wouldn't be able to run our business, we wouldn't be able to run our teams without them. And there are a couple of issues with using the success of a black person in that way because one, what it's implying is that only when we've gone to that stratosphere are others who look like us worthy of having opportunity. Now I know some people go, oh no, but I don't mean it like that, but that is kind of what you mean because I know some well-meaning people and when they've talked to me about how they're having conversations within their companies and within their teams and within their leadership teams, what they say to me is ministry. I've used my data and I've gone through the data and I have cited examples of you know black people who have done really well we've given them projects to lead on and they've done really well we've promoted you know da, 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 da. so so you know because I'm trying to show them that if they give more black people a chance this is what happens and I'm like listen I'm like look I get what you're trying to say and I get the point that you're trying to make but actually what you are doing and saying is exactly why we are where we are because the reality is as black people we have to go above and beyond expectation for the majority to sit back and go oh do you know what I was wrong do you know what I mean look 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 what we're missing if we don't have more black people in the organization now the flip side is and this is what I said to this individual so, so the flip side is I said let's imagine that you did have some black people in your company, but actually they, they weren't heads of departments, they didn't rise the upper echelons in your, in your business. Maybe their performance ratings wasn't great, meaning it was all right, but they're not, you know, in, in talent management terms, they're not in the top right hand box, right? High potential, high performance, you know, and all of that jazz. Would you still use that same argument? And this person said, well, no. So I said, well, but why would you use that same argument? And she said, well, because we don't have any proof. And I said, therein lies the challenge. So what you're saying is, as black people, we have to prove that we are worthy to be given opportunity. So we have to be the super black to challenge your preconceptions about who black people are, even though, you know, and I'm talking in general sense, because I know we're not one yeah. piece, but you know what I mean. So we have to prove to you that we are exceptional because only when we are exceptional that do you then relax and feel like other people can be given opportunities. So if we are not exceptional, you probably wouldn't change the way that you do things within your organisation because you don't have the proof. Now my challenge with all of that is that as black people we shouldn't have to be the super black. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's great that there are people who are super successful, dependent on what your definition of success is, I hasten to add. And there are people that hit it out of the park, left, right and centre, in lots of different facets of society and the business world. But we shouldn't be using their achievements as a justification for why other black people should have opportunities, because that is the definition of white supremacy in itself. That's an example of it. Do you know what I mean? That we have to prove to the majority that we're worthy of being given these opportunities. And in the absence of the majority 
being able to cite examples of the super black, we don't get a lock in until data shows otherwise. So I know, like, this is one of those ones where even, like, I've wanted to record this video for a while, but you until I can articulate it in my mind, because like, there's so much, right, that you want to kind of talk about. So I've tried to distill it in a way that I hope makes sense. But it goes back to, we should not be held to a different standard as other people, just to be able to get equality. We should not have to be the super black. Do you know what I mean? We should just be able to have the same opportunities to succeed or to fail, but not have our skin colour as a factor. That's all that I talk about. That's my definition of equality. Do you know, like I know, like there's the academic definition, but that's my thing. When we have true equality, factors that people cannot control are not conditional upon how they are treated and how they have access to opportunity in society and in the workplace. So I think if you are in this space within your companies and you're having these conversations and you're trying to find, like, because it it comes, like I understand it comes from a, a well-intentioned place because you're trying to get your majority white leadership teams to understand that they need to do differently and you're thinking, look, whatever I can bring out of like my Mary Poppins carpet bag, I'm going to throw it all on the table and hope that something stick. But I just hope that you're not using the achievements of black people. I hope you are not citing the blacks that did good as an example of why you have to change because you've completely missed the point. <sighs> I know, I know. Somebody's like, oh, she's always, she's always, she's always coming and saying you can't do this, you can't do this. Because all I'm saying is anti-racism is not a joke thing. And this is why it goes beyond your traditional ways of looking at this topic through diversity and inclusion because traditionally you're not going into this level of detail so that's why we need to be talking about it so please do not use the super black as the barometer as to why as an organization you should give more black people an opportunity that's it thank you and i'll see you next time